No, nope. where were so your I was parents? Just... <laughs> go ahead. You go ahead. No, you. <laughs> oh, you you do it. Okay, okay. Tell us, Dana, what was it like growing up? Uh, well, I grew up in a middle class white household. I encountered a lot of abuse as a child. Uh, that started from as young as I can remember as four. And I'm still, you know, I still, still get memories coming through my recovery, right? Because I'm constantly working on stuff. I mean, I started using, um, you know, when I was 11. And I became pregnant at 14 with my, with my son. Uh, that didn't go well um, because I was so young. Now I'm going to have this, this little human that is going to love me unconditionally and I'm going to have control over it. Right. And that's something that I struggled with a lot is I just wanted love. Like I just needed this baby and I don't know, I didn't know why at the time, but it was because I needed love, that unconditional love. I, I was not a good young mother. Um, I would disappear for weeks at a time. Yes. So I moved in with yeah. a friend and her parents. Very dysfunctional home. Living on my own, Dan, at 16, I was close to 17 at this time. Like, this was just an invitation for a party house. And I started hanging around with this man, and he he had all the money, supplied my alcohol, he supplied my drugs. He, you know, I was confined to a farmhouse for eight hours, and I was beaten, I was raped. I went home that night. And I locked myself in the basement and I sat down there and I just remember thinking, I don't want to live anymore and I don't want to die and I don't know what to do. Like I just, I just wanted all the feelings, all the pain, all the chaos, all the confusion, everything to go away. And I was scared because like I said, like I wanted to die, but I wanted to live, you know, like I was so confused. Um, but I knew somebody that hadn't drank in three months and to me that stood out to me and I just thought I have to phone this person. And so I phoned them and, you know, they saved my life. 